Welcome back, everyone. My name is Joel Feld, and... Oh, oh. iCloud storage is full. Anyways, my name is Joel Feld, and today... Backup failed. iCloud. Today's topic, as you guessed, iCloud storage. Let's rock and roll. Today's topic is discussing iCloud storage, specifically some of the messages that you've probably seen on your device one or two times. iCloud backup, you can't back up your phone. iCloud storage is full, things aren't syncing. So let's actually discuss what those messages actually mean, how to actually look at the storage and see what is actually taking up space. I run into a lot of people that get those messages and instantly they think that their device is full and they go, oh, my iPhone is full, my iPad is full, I should have bought the 256 gig or the 500 gig. But in all reality, chances are your device physically isn't full, your iCloud is full. And let's just, let's just start off with Apple, uh, the five gigabytes that you give to everyone for free, let's just be real, it's useless. Five gigs, it's, it's literally nothing. I mean, you can't compete. At least Google gives you 15 gigs for free. So five gigs, useless. So let's actually talk about the storage on your physical device. Let's look at the storage and breakdown of the iCloud. So let's start with the computer. Now, if you're getting the messages on your phone or your iPad or your computer saying that iCloud is full, let's actually go to iCloud and look at what's actually full and taking up space. So on the computer here, we're gonna go to System Preferences and I'm gonna go to Apple ID in the top. And then over here on the left-hand side, we have iCloud. And then here is what is all turned on for syncing into the cloud. And then down here at the bottom, we have this little visual graph and it kind of breaks down what's actually taking up space. And here I can see the five gigabytes is fully used. I have zero kilobytes available, so it's maxed out. And as I hover on top of the colored graph here, I can see that the majority of, of it is photos, 4.3 gigs, 705 megabytes of documents, mail, messages. And if I click this manage button, I can further break that down and it shows me the same exact information. In this list here, I can see other things that might be taking up space. Typically text messages take up a lot of space your backups can take up a, a lot of space also so that's looking at it on the Mac in the system preferences if I go out to iCloud.com if I sign in here notice the big banner across the top your iCloud storage is full photos videos documents and data are no longer being updated so that pretty much means that if you have multiple devices if you have a phone and you're taking pictures that information is not going up into the cloud, which means it's not going to synchronize to other devices that you may have, and it's not gonna be backed up. If I go to account settings, here I see the same exact visual graph. 4.3 gigabytes is photos and videos, it breaks down to documents, and I have zero space left available. After I've looked at this graph, I can click learn more on the top right here, and it's gonna show me you know, kind of their help guide, how to upgrade to storage, how to downgrade to storage, how to delete files, just kind of overview of things to look at of why it's filled up. And if I come to my iPad, you guessed it, I go right into settings here, go to iCloud in the top left, choose iCloud on the right, and again, same exact place, I can see everything that's turned on for iCloud and everything that's synchronizing. And if I touch manage storage, I'm able to see exactly what's taking up space in iCloud. Now let's actually look at what's actually physically on my iPad versus what we've already looked at in the cloud. So usually people will think, oh, my device is full, but it's really not. If I go to the general settings and I touch iPad storage on the right hand side, I can see that at the very top, I'm only using 29 gigabytes of 128. So I have tons of room physically on my iPad, but because I'm trying to use iCloud and use the photo syncing features and the backup features, I can't put this 29 gigabytes in that free five gigabytes. I can't put 29 gallons into a five gallon bucket. It just doesn't work. So I really have to weigh out my options here. Number one, do I want to use iCloud? or do I not want to use iCloud? You know, even if I go to the photos here, open up photos, 
Notice it's saying, hey, iCloud storage is full. Photos, videos, iCloud Drive are no longer updating. So I can either ignore it and shut off iCloud completely and don't use it. Or I will say this, I'm forced. I don't like using that word, but you're pretty much forced to upgrade your storage. And if I touch that button, it's gonna take me to the settings here to choose a different plans to purchase. So like I said before, 50 gigs for a dollar a month, I mean, that's 12 bucks a year. You've spent more at McDonald's or Chipotle. You've probably spent more at Chipotle uh, on your burrito bowl than you do a whole year worth of iCloud. So just look at the prices. It's not that bad. It's gonna bill automatically. And then you have a little bit of peace of mind of, oops, your phone dropped. Do you have an iCloud backup? Because you go to the Apple store, the first thing they're gonna say is, do you have an iCloud backup? And you're gonna say, I don't know. And then they're gonna say, well, what's your Apple ID? And you're gonna say, I don't know. So Apple ID, iCloud, one of the same. They're the same account. It's signed in with everything for your Apple products. You have one, look it up, it's in your settings. If you don't know it, figure it out because it's important if you don't own an Apple product. So really it comes down to, do you wanna use iCloud or do you not wanna use iCloud? Is it worth the money to invest to have more cloud storage so that your device is protected for a backup purpose and also the convenience of taking photographs and accessing all of that content everywhere or accessing your text messages everywhere or your notes or your contacts, or your calendars. Because remember, iCloud is a whole service. It's synchronizing content through all of the these online applications and tools so that you can access your information on all of these different devices. Computer, Windows computer, iPhone, iPad, Apple computer. Think about it as an investment for all of your content, your contacts, your pictures, all of that. And here's the best thing. A lot of people that I talk to will always try to find an alternative to not pay for the dollar a month. And what I mean by this is, let's say photos. We'll stick with the concept of photos and videos because photos and videos seem to be the primary piece that takes up the most storage on your phone or your iPad. And the best part is, is people wanna find alternatives to not pay for iCloud storage. So they'll go with like Google Photos, which you have to pay for more storage on Google's ecosystem, just like you do for iCloud. Amazon Prime, if you have an Amazon uh, membership, they give you a cloud storage. Different email accounts like Yahoo and Microsoft, they give you online storage also. But with iCloud, the beauty of it is the integration of it that comes with it being on your phone, on your iPad, and if you have a Mac or if you have two devices or really just one, it's that peace of mind that you can always have the iCloud backup if something were to happen or you get a new device, restore from an iCloud backup, boom, all of your stuff is there. You don't have to worry about, oh, where are my photos, over here in Google or are they over here? It's just keep it simple, keep it simple. Most people will use iCloud for backup and for syncing purposes of your photographs to all of your devices. And also backup for your iPhone or iPad because if something were to happen or maybe you get a new iPhone three years from now, having that backup is really, really nice because it essentially takes everything on your on your phone. Let's let's say your phone, for example, all of your text messages, your photos, your organization of all of the different folders, everything that's on that device. If that device were to become lost, broken, stolen, whatever it may be, if you're using iCloud and you have a full backup of it, it really doesn't matter. You can grab a new iPhone or even an old iPhone, sign into it, restore it from the backup, and you you wouldn't skip a beat. So having that to me is worth the dollar a month that you pay for the 50 gigs or the $3 a month for you know 200 gigs. Don't drink a cup of coffee for a day and you've, you've made your money back already. So iCloud, it's, to me, it's a good investment. So that's pretty much uh, iCloud when it's full and now it's time to decide what you want to do. Do you want to pay for it or do you not? And I do recommend if you have multiple people in the family, do one of the shared family options because you can pay, 
you know, let's say $3 a month for 200 gigs, maybe you got two kids in the family, you got your wife, you got your husband, uh, whomever it may be, if you all share on that, sh uh, that family plan, you're all sharing the same exact storage. You can all back up your devices to the same exact cloud storage through iCloud. So extremely helpful. I actually do the two terabytes. I got six of us on our family plan. It's really nice. It's very, very convenient. And these are kind of the older plans. Apple just released their Apple One subscription, which comes with, you know, Apple Music, uh, Apple Fitness, Apple News, and gives you actually, um, you can go up to four terabytes of storage using that subscription model. But again, keep it simple, go with what you need. You can always upgrade or you can always downgrade your subscription at any given time. So that's iCloud and uh, that's talking about storage of why your device might be full. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, throw some comments down below. Uh, I'd love to hear if you've been in this situation or not and what you did, if you upgraded or just said, nope, not using iCloud. If you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell and we'll see you next time.